Hi, I'm Anthony from Learning to Play the Guitar. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play the Cream song, Badge. This song was written by Eric Clapton and George Harrison for the final Cream album, Goodbye Cream. The song title, Badge, actually comes from Eric Clapton misreading George Harrison's notes, seeing the word bridge on the page, thinking it said the word badge. This song features some great percussive rhythm guitar playing, some R&B style licks, a great arpeggio riff from George Harrison, and a great solo, of course, from Eric Clapton. Okay, for the introduction of this song, there are two chords. The first one being an A minor bar chord here at fret 5. The second one being a D major bar chord all the way up here on fret 10. And we're going to basically play a little rhythm with some dead strums here to give a percussive effect as we go along. So at the very start, we're going to play an A minor bar chord and we're going to basically strum down strums all the way but we're going to have some dead strums in between and we're going to emphasize the bass notes when we're not having the dead strums down, dead, down, dead, down, dead then we're going to sort of slide so after the first one we slide up to fret 10 here for the D chord so we're going to do a very similar thing up here at fret 10 for the D chord with a more consistent rhythm though so we've got dead, down, dead, down, dead down, dead, and then I'm going to go up on the final D there, almost like a power chord, and I'm going to slide back down to the A. I'll do that one more time. Dead, down, dead, down, dead, down, up, and that takes me back to the A. So that whole thing happens twice. The second time around when we do the D bar, before we go into the verse, there's a little variation where we're going to add a slide in from fret 12. So the final version here of D is going to be dead down dead down dead down sliding my third finger down on fret 12 back to the A position again into the verse so I'll do the whole thing together slowly so here's the intro as a package A D So for the verse it starts with a very similar rhythm to the intro with the A and the D chord and then it adds in a couple of extra chords which I'll mention right now which include E minor and E sus2 where we take the second finger off there is also later on a C bar chord and a B minor bar chord at fret 7 and the final chord at the end of each verse section is an A minor 9. Um, one way of playing it is this. Or you can use your thumb over the top like this on fret 5. So then let's just run through all these parts that make up the verse. So the A and the D as I said before are just the same as the intro. So we have the A down, dead, down, dead, down, dead. Sliding up to the D on fret 10. Dead, down, dead, down, dead, down, dead. And then we jump to the E minor. And here we're going to sort of mix the E minor up with this E sus2 chord with this finger coming on and off in particular parts. So following the tab here, we're going to go all down strums. One and two and three and four and second bar. One and two and three. And then there's a little slidey fill here, sevens to fives. Sliding us back to the A. 
And then with the second part, is very similar, we'll keep going through, so verse continuing, A again, down, dead, down, dead, down, dead, up to the D again, dead, down, dead, down, dead, down, dead, E minors, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and taking us into the first time ending, which is going to be the C bar chord, using that dead strumming. We had on the A minor, but now it's the C chord at fret 8, so the C bar with the same principles. Down, dead, down, dead, down, dead. A minor again. Down, dead, down, dead, down, dead. B minor. Down, dead, down, dead, down, dead. And then that A minor 9, which is the A minor 7 little finger on the um, frets, fret 7 down the bottom. So that's like the first half of the verse. Then going to the second round, there's a little fill. Zero, three, four, walking back up to the A minor again. And that A minor, E minor stuff happens all over again. The second time around, the ending gets a little bit fancier. It's based around, again, the C, A minor, B minor, A minor chords, or the A minor 9 chord. But it gets a bit Hendrixy, I suppose, some of these sort of R&B sort of fills. So we will run through that right now. So we start off here with the tab. So from the 3, sliding to the 7, my 3rd finger, 5 on the D string, a double 5 hammer to the double 7, back to the 5s, 7 pair of 5s on the A D strings there, that was the C bar, so again, so very sort of um, R&B sort of groovy sort of soul music sort of sounding feel there. Into the A minor, there's, there's like a little fill here, a little bit of a hint of a blues thing maybe. Uh, anyway, A minor pentatonic -y. So that's not too crazy. And then the B minor bar, we're going to have a little little fill there. Nice little fancy Hendrixy type thing noodling around the B minor bar chord. And then we jump to this A minor 9 again. Um, like so. You could also, if you prefer, you could also ignore the thumb on the top and just do the chord like that. Which in some ways is a bit easier. So that whole thing together. song has this arpeggio pattern based around uh, the D, C and G chords I suppose uh, and it sounds like this and it goes round and round there's little sort of variation there on the tab here I have a double pluck on the two B G strings the it's sort of subtle that G string there really um, the second variation also just goes to zero, zero. It's very similar as it goes around and around. So I'll just play that again. So it's basically zero, four, two, three, zero, 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 two, zero, pair, three, zero, and then back to the D, the zero, two, three, two thing. I'll play the second one with that other little variation. This is down to the G string. And obviously I'm letting everything ring out as much as possible here. With the picking, my recommendation is, especially from the 3-0-0 zero, zero pick, up on the bottom string, but everything else can be down. So down, down, up, down, up. So always up on the bottom string, down on the rest.
So here we are at the solo at the end of the song. The solo to me is a mixture of the D minor and the D major pentatonic scales as Eric Clapton does in a lot of his solos. Um, some really cool licks and nice controlled bends throughout. So starting off we're at fret 13 on the B string and we've got some pre-bends. He does quite a few of them in this solo where I'm going to bend the string up and then pluck it and let the gas out of it or the air out or the pressure down. So we've got two of these. And then back to that same note, bending the 13, which is bending all about back up to the D note. So it's all about D here. Uh, second bar, same thing again, continuing on. Fret 10, we've got a bendy 12. To the 10, releasing the 12. Little half bend, the 10, which takes us to the pitch of an F sharp, which is the major third of the D major chord, sort of behind the solo. 12, so I'll do that first two bars again. So that's that first phrase. Then moving on, we have a hammer on 10, 11, 10, 10, 12, bend, half, bend here, 10, 12, so the B note, that's the major pentatonic note, and then we're going to hit this jump here, my third finger, to the number 14 F sharp note. We're going to do some half bends up to a G note, and then just regular F sharp, which is just the normal 14. So we've got sort of thing. And then we've got a pair of 10s, and then we're going to pre-bend the 12th fret note up a half step and release it, and then back to the 12 for the pull off to the 10. So I'll do that again. Here we go. So we're pre-bending fret 12, half step up, pulling off to a 10, and back to the fret 12, all on the first string. And goes back to the 12 again, so backwards and forwards a bit there. And then we have a pair of 10s, bendy 12 again on the first string. So I'll play all that stuff from the 10 tens. Then on to the next section. So then we have this D major pentatonic 10, 12, 10, 12 thing happening with a slide to a 15. So we're sort of doubling up a lot of Ds here. Then F sharp again, 14, pre-bend the 15 all the way up a G to an A. Half bend to the 14, which is quite cool. D 15s. Two of them, short and long. Then we've got a little sort of blues bend here. And then landing on that F sharp again, that 13 half bend. Then 15 on the um, B string, which is a D note again, a lot of Ds. Then a bunch of bends here on fret 15 on the first string will be one and two and three and four and. So that's a lot of bending there. Then we hit 15, D again, slide down, slide back up to 16, 15, bendy 17 with the 17, my little finger underneath. In that sort of fashion, one of those things. Then moving on, bendy 17, 17, 15, now we're over the bar line, and then we've got some uh, 16s here, but nothing too super fast. little bit of doubling up there of that a lot of D note again over the bar 17 full bend there and then we have this little sort of quirky 19 half bend regular thing again it's this uh, F sharp G thing but with a little funny rhythm over the bar line there with that last 19 which is bending back back down to the F sharp then we jump down to a 15 17 15 little triplet 16th there to the 16th then we're into the final run we might as well keep going then just that little lick there which is quite quick in reality final bit 16th again uh, we're now back in D major pentatonic land very much so 10s and 12s hammer double stop hammer then a little blues slide to the 12 pull off to the 10 12 10 12, a bunch of 10s there, and then and a final 12 A note, which then coincides with the A minor chord as it goes back to the other section for the last verse. So I might do the whole solo in slow-mo, that might be a good idea.
So at the very end of the song there's a verse which will have the same basic rhythm guitar as we had earlier on, but on top of that there's also a little bunch of overdubbed guitar lead fills I suppose in between the singing. So the fills are here over the E minor chord, uh, again very bluesy sort of sounding stuff, sort of E minor pentatonic -y actually in this case. So we're going to bend this 14 and then we've got some 12 E notes on the first string underneath, so skipping strings. <laughs> does this cool little 14 underneath, longer band but it's the same note, 15 underneath there so you can see it, back to this 14, and it's that there. Um, so one of the, the keys to that is I probably prefer to use my second finger for the band, normally I might use my third, but in this case because I've got to go 14 and 15 underneath I will keep my second for that, just illustrating that, fingering there for the 14 bend and the 14 15 on the first string underneath. The next one is some, again some pre-bending happening here running down the E minor pentatonic scale again over the E minor chord. So a little blues note there, that 13. Now we're in pattern 5 of the E minor pentatonic scale. Pull off there to the 12 and then we've got a number 10 note which is the C matching the C chord. With a little slide at the end of it. The very, very end of the song, there's another little, uh, you could almost call it B minor pentatonic in this case, sort of fill on top of the B minor chord landing to the A minor chord, which results in a little hammer, a 10, 11. And some double stops there on the end. So I hope you have fun learning this great piece of classic rock. Subscribe to the Learning to Play the Guitar YouTube channel for more lessons. And don't forget to click on the bell to receive notifications when I upload a new video. You can also check out my books and more lessons at my website learningtoplaytheguitar.net. Thanks for watching and keep practicing.